You know, my friend, nothing is clearer than that prayer has its only worth and significance in the great fact that God hears and answers prayer. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 through 18, it says, Rejoice evermore. It's certainly my theology, rejoice evermore. Now I continue, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. You know that's my theology too. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In the first letter to the Thessalonians, Paul advised his friends to pray without ceasing. Well, that advice is for us today as well. Prayer is a powerful tool for communicating with God. It's an opportunity to commune with divine power. Prayer is not a thing to be taken lightly or to be used infrequently. It is a powerful force for improving our lives, for building our faith, and for improving our world. Prayer shouldn't be reserved for just meal times and bedtimes. It should be a steady presence and focus in our daily life. So today, this day, pray constantly. Talk to God about the big stuff. Talk to God about the small stuff. You know, God loves you, and God wants to hear from you. God is listening, and when you pray, God will answer.